Hello everyone, I am Brianna and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than my previous videos. Usually I do a plan with me each week, but for this week, the 25th through the 31st, I wasn't able to film a plan with me. So instead, I'm going to flip through my plan book and show you kind of an after the pen look of how my week is going so far. Here is a look at last week. I know that you saw the video of me planning this, but here is how it turned out. I really, really loved how it turned out. I didn't have a ton of like to do's on my list. Since we were out of town, my mom came in and watched the kids for us. It was our 14 year wedding anniversary and we were gone Wednesday to Saturday. Uh, and it was just a really, really nice getaway. Um, but then I got home and my mom was still in town and we had our homeschool group and just so many things going on that I didn't have time to sit and film a plan with me. So it was probably Tuesday or Wednesday of this week. And so what would that be? To the 26th or the 27th of this week, um, I sat down and I was like, okay, I don't have time to film. I'm just going to put my pages together. Well, I was looking at my April calendar. Um, there's a lot of whiteout on here. Um, a quick note. For me, moving forward, if I make any notes in my monthly spread that's not the current month, I am going to be using a pencil because I do not like all of this whiteout. I want to be able to erase something that has changed and put it in there um, in pen when I know for sure it's something that's going to happen. So I know in May, let's see, that's June... In May, I already have a few things um, written down, but look at like piano, I'd have to cross out. Um, so in June, I am going to add anything in there in pencil, just in case. Okay, so I was looking at this calendar and thinking, okay, I need to set up my week. And I just started setting up. <laughs> like these pages are blank like this. Um, there's no date on them. So I just opened the book, not even thinking and open it to this page and started planning my current week, March 25th through the 31st. After I was finished setting this up, I turned the page to like look at the previous week and I was like, Oh no, I did it under April. Like how ridiculous. So now I need to, um, so there's one, two, three, Four, I'm gonna have these four weeks under April since there's five blank weeks here. And then the 20, um, the 29th through the 30th and then it starts May, I'm gonna put that under the May calendar and I think that will get me back on track for my weeks. Um, so then I had this blank spread of a week that I wasn't going to be using. And so I just decided to decorate it. I will probably leave it just like this, maybe throw in um, maybe some pictures or just write in highlights of March. I haven't really decided. Um, right now I'm just leaving it like this. Um, so here is how my March went. I have to say I thoroughly enjoyed the Coco Daisy kit. It is super, super cute. I love this hand can plan St. Patrick's Day kit. Um, but March was a good month. I enjoyed that. Um, this is how my current week turned out. I knew that I wanted to be heavy on the Easter and actually all of these items here are planner perfect. I wanted to use all of her stickers. I have this tip in here because I'm going to write my Easter menu on here. We're gonna do brunch. So things kind of changed. Um, my 
brother and his wife were supposed to come into town today. It's actually Friday, the 29th. Um, we were going to go to church and they were going to be in town. Um, but my kids got sick or one of my kids got sick and, um, is under the weather. So we postponed the trip for my brother and his wife um, or my sister-in-law and they're gonna come at a later date. And now we're just gonna be home for Easter. So um, my thought is just to have brunch food on Sunday, uh, like an egg casserole and my cinnamon rolls and maybe some bacon and um, I don't know keeping it simple, but doing brunch. Um, so I'm gonna write all of that here. Um, I used this Papermate Flare. It's a medium tip and it's this purple color. I used that to write everything. I just wanted something bright and cheery for Easter. Um, I just love, love, love how it turned out. I used her Happy Easter sticker. I didn't put any um, day of the week covers over here. I just highlighted them, which I kind of like that actually, if I want to keep it simple. Um, I know that if I ever do stop getting Coco Daisy, that is definitely an option just to add that pop of color. You just highlight over it. Um, let's see. I don't know what else I really need to go over. I had a lot of to do's. And so, you know, I've been putting my little dots and things that I need to do for the day. Um, I'm still not menu planning, which I know I need to do. I need to get better at that. Um, so that I can have more of a plan, but I kind of go day by day. Like tonight I decided I wanted to do this chicken and white bean kale soup. I made that like a couple weeks ago and it was so, so yummy. And I want it again because it is raining over here. Oh yeah, I did it on the 11th. Um, so this book um, hasn't really been utilized that much. I was kind of just using it as notes, um, you know, things that I needed to jot down. Still keeping up on my homeschool um, journal there, uh, which homeschool is actually, I don't want to say hit and miss. My olders are keeping up on their schoolwork, but with me being out of town and then it being a holiday, I, um, have been kind of not, um, like doing the morning time, like we're supposed to and things like that. So, um, what I do need to write school on here and I'm, I do my initials for the kids who do school. So then I can mark it under their um, attendance records because I do need to keep that um, for our state. I don't think he did that. Okay, I need so yesterday there was no tutoring. I guess they were on spring break and I never got the memo that it was canceled. <laughs> um, Abigail had her game, speech therapy. I actually um, stopped at the store and bought some Crocs for a few of my kids. It's funny how Crocs are back in style again and they really love them. So I'm gonna put some in their Easter baskets. Um, Today isn't a really busy day, just filming and posting videos since it's been a while since I've posted on YouTube, just because everything has been so, so busy. Um, I was just saying that there's just no margin and I need to change that because, I mean, look at my calendar, it's crazy. It's kind of a mess actually. <laughs> If I don't, if I just look at this, I'm like, wow, what's going on? What's happening? Um, so I can't wait to set up April with you guys. I want to use a bunch of the Take Flight Coco Daisy items. I want to see if I could pull some 
fun stickers from Planner Perfect because these are the three washies that go with that. Um, I don't know. All right, so I'm looking at this book actually, my sticker book, and it's reminding me to show you. So I was asked what I am doing uh, with my Coco Daisy die cut stickers. And at first I had them all in the package and they were just organized in like this sticker album. I'm trying to see if I have it, I don't have it. But I took them all out and then I saw that I had like this small um, three drawered like plastic container and I threw them in there for storage. I'm like, okay, this isn't working either because they're staying in their pouch and I can't just like easily take them out and flip them through. So I have to say, I don't recommend doing it this way, um, using a sticker book, because if you have a lot built up and a lot to go through, um, it's a lot of work to, to peel back all of the backings on these stickers and then stick them on here. Um, but this is what I have so far. All of them are just in here and I can flip through the ones that I have and just peel off and stick on my pages. Um, now that this is done, I am happy that it's done. Um, while I was doing it, I was not happy when I was doing it. At one point, um, cause I did some of this on our trip to um, the mountains and I asked my husband if he could help me. Cause I was like, okay, I'm getting really frustrated right now. Could you please help me? Maybe peel off the backs or I can peel off the backs and you stick. And so we kind of had this system and he helped me and it was just really sweet of him to do that. Uh, when I got home, I joked, I was like, okay, I have six more months. You want to help me with that too? <laughs> because what you see here is only January to June. I have not pulled out July to December and that's all going to go here. My plan though is to keep this up um, after I'm grabbing my stickers. After a month is over, I am going to just take what I hadn't used and just stick them so that I don't have like this huge buildup of stickers. I might actually even take the, um, Sorry, I have so much stuff on my desk right now. I was journaling before this, which that's another thing I really, really wanna share with you guys. I just, I don't feel like it's the right time. Um, I think I'm going to do that three months at a time, like show you that. So maybe after my April setup, I can sit down and film a flip of my journal and the progress. I am behind on like the weekly um, pages like to print out photos and stuff, but uh, you guys would get the gist of the things that I have. So the take flight die cuts, these are the only ones that I kept. I posted on Facebook under the buy, sell, trade, um, a package of things that I want to sell from the take flight. Um, I just know that I'm not gonna use everything and so might as well just try to sell it right up front and in the beginning so that I don't have to deal with it afterwards. Um, so that's my plan. I mean, like I said, I don't recommend doing it this way because it was actually a huge pain, but once it was done, I am so glad that I have it this way. Like, does that make sense? I don't know. Um, so if you can get over the initial um, shock and irritation of doing this with like a ton of die cut stickers, then you'll be great. <laughs> so that is how I store my Coco Daisy die cut stickers that I have not used. Um, let's see, all right, this is turning into like a really chatty video. Like I said, it's not gonna be a plan with me, it's just, um, let's chat my about my planner and the things that I'm doing and my spread. I don't think that this is going to be a very long video because I'm not setting anything up. I'm just showing you things. And I honestly think that 
I've shown you everything. I was kind of bummed I didn't get to use this bunny washi. I'm, that's why I threw this guy here um, as the tip in because I really like him. I might put some washi down on these pages while it's still March um, so that I can use it. But that is it. This is my current week. Hopefully you enjoyed chatting a little bit. I know that um, plan with me's are more fun, but I had to do it differently this week, you guys. It was just too wild of a time. But I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. I'm going to be setting up April. I know that it will be kind of strange to set up April and then have March right there. But honestly, now that I think about it, Easter is usually in April, and so it kind of feels right. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to set up my monthly spreads in my April planners. I know that I have to do this one, and then I'm going to set up my journal as well. And then I will do a plan with me for the 1st through the 7th and try to get everything to load consistently and... We can be back on track. I hope that you guys have a wonderful weekend. Happy Easter and we'll chat soon. Bye you guys. Mm -hmm.